A trial has begun fitting police vehicles with a device which will help with water rescues when they arrive first on the scene. This story from the New South Wales South Coast. A dramatic rescue, police officers were first on the scene diving in to save a man in rough conditions. These scenarios are being played out time and time again with not only the victim at risk but also police. We have nothing now. The police can't help themselves, they jump in the water and it'll be a matter of time before we lose one of our police as well as the victim in the water. Now they will be given a new potentially life-saving tool known as Stormy Lifesaver. Each General Duty's car will be fitted with this self-inflating horseshoe boy. It's often used by yachtsmen or boaters. Now it will become a staple for officers. During training today, the police rescue squad tested the new equipment. You unclip it. You throw it into the water, a CO2 cartridge ignites the device and it floats. It's got a sea anchor and also a light on the device itself so at night we can see where the person is and again that will give them the greatest chance of survival. In 2012-13 across New South Wales 104 people drowned. It's hoped these sort of devices will help reduce those sobering statistics. This is a 12-month trial. If successful, it could be rolled out across the state, not only in coastal communities, but also rural areas to be used in rivers and waterways. This is a tool that police can use to give the person the water the greatest chance of survival. Melissa Jaros, Wind News.